Good morning, class. Here we are. It's Vicky3 Academy. This is Walker. Here we are, and we play games, and we're gonna... I'm reshooting the distribution of Power Law um, video, because I think there was something that, that I tried to say, but it sounded like some people on the internet didn't really understand it, because I didn't explain it very well. Um, and so I want to I wanna go back over it. And so... In, in this in this series, we're just going to go through every single one of these laws and talk about all of them in turn and the implications thereof. So the first thing that people are usually drawn to whenever they look at their distribution of power law is that the, they have this authority bonus. And, it, and that's like the, the first big number that everyone looks at. That's good. That's good. Um, of course, keep in mind that the, the, the larger your economy is, the smaller uh, decrees become. And so you, if you're getting a bunch of authority uh, in the late game, I think the bo the best thing you can do with it is consumption taxes, but then you kind of have to like figure out how to utilize your consumption consumption tax as well. Um, and so that's, that's another topic that we will go over. But just be aware that the first number that's the first thing here. That's your authority. That's the representation of your of the political strength of the leadership in your country to get personal things done. So, of course, that's going to go up the more autocratic your society is. Um, then there we see a legitimacy in, from including the head of state and government. So all of these are going to have different sources of legitimacy. For oligarchy and for autocracy, you're going to gain legitimacy from including whatever the... Uh, the head of state's preferred government is if as so long as you have that then you'll get a little bonus um other other than that the more democratic uh, democratic you get you just get this little flat uh legitimacy bonus all the way through except for anarchy which is very different anarchy is very very different um we can discuss we'll discuss that one at the end uh so oligarchy you see how it, you get extra political strength from capitalists and aristocrats right you see everyone sees that all of this stuff should be pretty pretty uh, wrote by now but then down to here we we start introducing bonuses for votes so whenever an election occurs votes are assigned from the uh, the pops based off of i believe based off of their wealth um because i believe it uses their political power to to assess things um if you know a little more about voting please feel free to jump in on the comments because voting seems to be a little weird it's it, it's very definitely uh just telling you like a raw sum total number whenever it says so many how many votes you you've received because obviously some of those numbers don't exist in terms of pops um but there is something that that is really important when it comes to the impact of of votes see how see here where we see the political strength so we see 35k is coming from wealth which means that there's some number of of political strength that's going to be coming from things other than wealth uh, in this case most of it's going to be coming from these modifiers but those modifiers stacked on top of uh, this small bonus of average wealth, plus 7.26 per politically active pop, and then the wealth. When there is an election, however, and let's see, what else? I think these guys have a, a good democracy set up. Yeah, see that political strength of votes in an election. And so if 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 you think critically, then what 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 you should realize is that your political strength in a democratic society is going to, as you democratize, because of the way the political strength from votes is distributed here, the more de democratic your society becomes, the more that political strength is going to be coming from votes, and the more political strength is coming from votes, the less wealth matters, and the less wealth matters, the less powerful aristocracy can just kind of like tell you what to do. And so this, this video is sort of kind of like a response to a, a, something I saw on Reddit, but it's also just like a generally good thing to keep in mind that just because you are a, like, you know, a communist dictatorship or whatever doesn't necessarily mean that you want to move back to full autocracy. Because anytime you move up into the oligarchy aut autocracy chain, you take away all of the political strength from votes, which means that everything is, all the political strength there is going to be coming from wealth. Um, or from the average wealth of the pops, and then and then you know you, you just end up bringing the you end up bringing the capitalists back. But that's that's basically what you're going to be doing here in distribution of power is you're choosing how much wealth matters in your society, and the more autocratic you are, the more wealth matters, and the less autocratic you are, the less it matters. 
all the way down to anarchy which is of course like absolutely crazy right minus 50 percent authority so you, like you just can't you can't do anything as in terms of the government like you can't you can't do consumption taxes probably most of the time but that's okay because you get universal pop political strength whoa <laughs> minus 75 percent political strength from wealth that that one is going to be really interesting to see um used uh if this video was helpful for you uh let me know if there's more information that you think that should be included in a, a discussion about distribution of power let me know that too I'm going to go through and, and probably do the army model one again, because I think that all of the law videos can be five to seven minutes, because you can talk about a lot of really interesting things in there. But yeah, basically, if you if you want to make sure that your landowners and your Catholic church stay powerful, stay autocratic, it it's not good for your overall strength. Um, but if you want to do that, then that's the way to go. OK, that's Walker. Bye.